You've got the CEO in jeans. They're going to do some work at the end of the day today, Monday. I wanted to take you on a quick little tour of etching so you can see some benefits of the laser. Do you notice what I'm wearing? If you watch the last video, this is the result. I just washed it over the weekend, and this is the distressed applique look that I did so quickly. This is what we started off with, if you recall. So I had the running stitch, and underneath here, if you take a look inside, you've got the backing and in between the backing and the back of the fleece sweatshirt here I've got you know that gray material that goes underneath whatever it is t-shirt felt or anything that you want this is something that you can't pre-order outside so if you want to do reverse applique there's really no way of doing it you can only cut it by hand it would be virtually impossible to line up so that doesn't make it profitable now in etching this is some of the stuff that's pretty cool that you can do. This is a floor mat, and I just took uh, the, the new NSX logo and put it into you know, a, a traditional floor mat, but it is a program that you can offer with the laser. And that's fairly deep. I'm going right down to the material that's underneath there. And here's another version, more of a generic one. Have I got that the right way? There you go. So today, I saw a logo for a client that's interested in the laser that has the embossing machine, and it was one of those logos that you like and it makes you proud of what you do. And I remember it was um, unique when we did it with the leather embossing. It was one of the stunning ones that I've always kept around. And now I'm going to do it with the laser, but in such a way that it's impossible to be profitable with traditional embroidery. You'd never do this kind of stuff. You wouldn't try and attempt full front reverse applique. You wouldn't do the applique if you did. Like a lot of embroiders are afraid of it or scared of it because they know it's not profitable. When you buy the material from that supplier that pre-cuts it for you and sends you the disc, they're making the margin because they're taking you know, 25, 50 cents worth of material and they're charging seven, eight, nine bucks for that logo. Then you've got to place it in here, the needle stop, so that's not making any money. You've got to hand place it down, start the stitching. That's not productivity. You need to get stuff in and out very quickly. So I'll go back over here. Remember, I've got that. The, everything is literally Windows 8 ready. It is on the tablet or in some of the machines or even iPad, depending which one it is. But uh, what I'll do is set this up here. Uh, I'll just get my design. And I will get a um, left chest logo here. And I'm going to etch on this material on a dry wicking shirt or a micro fleece or polar fleece. I'll put it at 25% power for right now and a speed of 1000 with one pass. And as I turn this on to go into the laser cycle mode, the red lasers turn on for the aiming. So that enables me, it's a brand new garment, to be able to go and register right here. So now that's etching very quickly. I don't know if you can see that. It's very light. There's no smoke when you're doing this kind of etching. And I might even go a bit higher on the power. I'm not so used to this laser as I am to the ones at the trade show. I don't really use it a lot on, um, in production. But I can tune that up a bit. I'll do it one more time. I won't even actually. You know what? That's fine. So depending upon the lighting, you can see how deep that is. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll switch to a larger logo and uh, vertical to 100, 250. I don't know which one is the full size one here. A wee bit higher and I'm going to do the full back now. So again, use my registration here. Look at where I stand. So the, the table, the concept of what we do comes from the years of experience with the embossing for quick and easy setup and registration. So it's difficult when you're not our machine owner to understand because we've been working with a jig set up and a palletized system for the embossing machines for so many years. When we come on site and we train you, we show you these, tick, these, uh, tri these tricks and techniques. Say that three times fast at the end of a long day. And um, you go, wow, that's simple. But you don't know what you don't know. And so for us, we're able to steal the best practices from the other technology, bring them over the laser. And that's what propelled the growth so quickly and the popularity so quickly of the laser. And that's why as an embroider, probably within the next five years, it'll be difficult to be a profitable, viable 
embroider without the technology being added. This hasn't changed in 40 years, literally. And this is what the difference is. So while I'm talking, I should just shoot that. So this logo is cool because it has so much intricacies to it that it would be a complete nightmare to do it any other way. And I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but this isn't dead flat. On the other side is the zipper. So I could have unzipped this and slid it on, but it's not totally even. I remember I left the lid up so you can get in there with the camera and see what's going on. And when I send this off to Nancy, I hope she's not mad that I, I used that logo to do some advertising for her. So put some pressure on her to uh, provide the service for other people. But the point is, it's just a stunning logo and that's what's attractive about it. Remember that even though that this is a compact laser, you still have a design field that's 12.6 inches versus you know 14 or bigger on the other laser. You have 30 watts of power instead of 40, 60, 80, and 100, but since you're operating at only 30%, the speed is still 1,000 like it is here, 1,000 millimeters per second as it is on the big laser, so your output time isn't any different. Now this is a giant etch. You wouldn't be charging three bucks and fifty cents for this. Typically out there for a design this big, they're charging in the neighborhood of, based on volume, no less than seven something. And we can time it in the video. You can put a marker up on how long that was. I didn't watch it now. Up to nine to twelve dollars for one uh, small run, let's say twelve pieces. It's what the market can bear in your area. So obviously the person in New York City is getting more than the person you know, in Butte, Montana. So that's done here. And look at that logo. So I'll just hold it there steady for a sec. I mean, to me, that's still something that's pretty stunning. And that wasn't even a flat surface. But remember, I didn't even have to hoop, right? I want to turn it over. So while I'm talking, I should be reloading and doing another one and another one. And that would be the most productivity. People think that to pay for what the laser costs per month on a lease to own, lease to own is important because if you go to the bank and get the financing, it's probably a little bit cheaper, not that much actually these days, but it is cheaper, except you're using up your credit line. With a lease when you qualify, you're not using up your credit line and you have full access to the machine. So in general, our customers are generating what the lease costs in a month on the big laser in two hours or four hours worth of work in one week and the rest of the month is all profitable but it doesn't have to run one and a half two shifts to be profitable and that's the difference so I've got something else kind of cool to show you I've got the logo vertical and I'm gonna leave the settings on here and I will find a position if I'm going to write it this way, I'll do it this side. If I had a little bit more time, I could have set this up to go right on the zipper, right in a specific area, etc. This is just writing the word and essentially I'm done. So I've got the left chest logo on here. I could put that on a sleeve, etc. Is that the right height? That's how simple it is. Now I'll take this. I won't make any adjustments other than maybe on this thinner garment. Sorry that everything's green today. Maybe it matches with the color of money in the United States, so it's not the worst thing on earth. Is uh, I'll put this in a unique spot. But I'm going to lower the power just because I don't know how this garment's going to react. And I can always leave the garment there and re-hit it a second time if I don't like it. So I don't want to do left chest always. It's a little bit curved because I think it's like a female garment. So I'm just trying to line this up. There you go. So that's my setup. My registration is so simple because we've got all these techniques from the embossing era right on the panel there. How simple and how easy is that? A 
You got it there? Switch back to the left chest logo. Oh, don't let me forget, I want to show something kind of cool here in a second. I want to, don't let me forget the viral marketing. Set up one more time. Again, you can pick designs that if you tried this in embroidery, it would be so complex with the thread cut and the movement and the cleanup, and that logo would pucker for sure underneath this here. You wouldn't get that same easy look. And remember, there's nothing, no evidence at all on the inside here. So there's nothing against the skin. You can see where it was but that doesn't change the washability of the garment whatsoever. Let me go back here, and this is the viral part that I think is so important. I'll pick a logo. Every time, think of in your entire decorating career, how many times you have produced something for the end user, if you're not a contractor, or for your contract people, where you could put who decorated it inside each one and private label it. By doing that, if you think about it, that's tens of thousands of pieces that go out a year, that go out to a CEO, to a business owner, somewhere else in the country, says, oh, I like that. And they wonder where they got it from, and it never comes back to you. But now, I just picked the logo that says decorated by. And uh, I'll set that up right here. going to hold it here quickly because otherwise it'll slide down with the weight. So here's what I did. This, this garment's going to go across the border and it says decorated by Signature Logo Solutions and then their website SLS Deco and it says sample not for sale. So I put the sample not for sale because I'm doing this in Canada, sending it down to the client and then sometimes customs has a fit if it can be resold. So we put that on. But imagine in you know, basically less than two seconds you put a private label in and you do that 10,000 times a year. It's impossible that you do a high-end piece or some pieces that doesn't generate more revenue that comes back to you. So you've got to use the laser in the way it was intended to grow your business extremely quickly, to go back to your existing good customers and give them something new to offer, to be able to outsmart and outmaneuver your competition who aren't offering the same stuff. I've taken away the excuses of a machine that is sometimes too tall, too big, too expensive, too many features, whatever. Those excuses are gone with this machine which makes it accessible for virtually everybody. So if you've got a heartbeat, if you've got a credit, if you've got a passion for your business, if you want to do something good for your customers, you generally qualify in an instant. And then we'll show you, the fifth part is we'll show you the techniques and the tricks of how to be productive and then we'll discuss with you on looking at your business situation how to turn this into a money maker. Most people deliver a laser and go here's my card, hasta la vista baby, give me a call if you need anything and our guys go out there spend a day or two with you, usually two days and they will show you how to be in production at the end of those two days so you're not spending two three months getting used to the equipment and then we'll work with you in seminars where we're teaching you the concepts of what other people have done to become profitable and that's the difference in your business it's your bottom line it's your future this is your university fund your retirement fund whatever it is that's what we're trying to make something that's profitable for you and keep it here keep it made in North America and not bring stuff in from all over the world if we manufacture here we stay strong otherwise somebody else is going to take my job if I lose my job it's a good chance that you lose your job. So we've got to be inventive and create stuff here and do the things that are innovative. Thanks a lot for your time.